After seven long weeks of campaigning, the day has finally arrived. Today is election day. The polls have closed and now it's just time for the result. I am here at the sports bar here on campus and we are going to talk to some students on to what they thought this election was like. We're going to be here throughout the night as the results come in. Who knows what's going to happen? Here we are inside medicine. As you can see, it is loud, it's noisy, it's fun. And we're going to see how many students didn't actually vote Labour because surprisingly, apparently, there are some. So come with me now. So we have the BBC live on the big screen, if you can see right here behind me. And here are the people watching it now. We've got the BBC on. We've got some fans here. Who do you vote for? Jeremy Corbyn. 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 Emma, how are you? I'm really well. I think everyone should vote for Jeremy Corbyn because no. I think he's really you know sweet. That the, the polls have closed, so it's a bit late now. I think everyone should have voted for yeah. Jeremy Corbyn. Why do you think Jeremy Corbyn should win? He's just really sweet and I just appreciate the working class, you know. Would you consider yourself a socialist? Now, you're Welsh. I am Welsh indeed. What do you think about the Welsh party, Plaid Cymru? Oh, mate, honestly, if it wasn't such a... Oh, hang on, sorry, I'm sorry. That's right, we can bleep that out. How about yourself? Who do you vote for? Um, I'm Theresa May, personally. Really? Can you guys be friends? We run through fields of wheat. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about the saying? The Welsh and the, the English have a relationship built on understanding and trust. The English don't understand the Welsh, and the Welsh don't trust the English. <laughs> no, that's, that's true. No, that's true. Do you mind I ask who you voted for? Ooh. Can I guess? Go on, try and guess. A uh, quick word association. I'm going to say a word and you say a word. Okay, so strong and stable. We're done here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what it is. It's a case of slavery, mate. It's like, it's like. Hey, wait, 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 slavery. Right, you, you've seen Mad Max as a film student. You've seen I have indeed. You know when he chains Mad Max to the front of his car and he's got him as a bloodline? Yes, yes, yes. That's England and Wales. For all our American viewers, we'll give Owen subtitles so you can actually understand what he's saying. So here I am with two Conservative voters. How is it, guys, being the minority tonight? We're used to it. Yeah, we are used <laughs> to it. We're always used to it. So do you really think Wales isn't a drain on the English economy? No, I think, I think England is a drain on the Welsh economy. Really? Really? Do a quick word association. Say the first word that comes to your head, okay? Fox hunting is... Bad. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that from a Conservative voter. They are about to call Jeremy Corbyn's seat. Let's see the reactions from this crowd here. Students, mostly Labour supporters. Let's take a look. Feel free. Look at that. He's there. there it's a special thing. Trying to here. show a man up, are you? you try to touch it if you like. I, fermented I from tar. Can I? Ew, I'm sorry. This is fermented from tar. From tar? From literally Terra. drinking tar. How much more? Yeah. What? It's a try to touch if you like. <laughs> Come on, Owen. <laughs> oh. It tastes like just like drinking smoke. Okay, one more quick word association just for you. NHS? Free. Free? And you vote a Conservative? It's a complete fabrication that the Conservatives are going to privatise the NHS. We've had many, many, many years of Conservative governments and the NHS is still free and public as far as I know. So I have with me on my right a staunch Labour supporter. Oh, you know it, you know it, obviously. And I have with me on my left a staunch Conservative supporter. Indeed, and I'm wearing my Thatcherite badge. Indeed, can we get a quick close-up of the badge, please? Oh, the badge. And you, you printed this off yourself? Yes, I did. You do know she died, right? Yes. Okay, and it's not her running? Yes, I They may look similar, but it's, an, it's another person. Can we talk about your uh, ribbon here? It's, it's blue, <laughs> yeah. but it doesn't have conservative on it. So did you just like find a blue ribbon, or was that a... That... This is a party. This is a party. Okay. Why didn't it say conservative on it? I don't know. Maybe I should write it on. I think you should. Can we get a pen? Well, I've got you guys here because all good political night political election nights have some kind of good debate in them oh, right. you guys are for auster austerity yes in what i personally believe is sensible financial government i believe in supporting the needs of literally as the labor party are saying in this election the many it's 
it's it, at, at the end of the day, it always comes down to how many people you can help and how many people you can support. Can you can you get this, Josh? It's not coming through very it's well. Not. That's all right. As long as as long as the meaning's there. When we're running a deficit, we by very definition, do not have the resources. We are borrowing money in order to fund that spending, and at some point, that has to be paid off. So can you give us a guess on the number of seats the Conservatives are going to get? If you get it correct, I will find you and high-five you. 340. 340? 350. 350. Wow, okay, quite bold. So Labour had a fully costed manifesto. Did the Conservatives? Uh, no, they didn't have a fully individually costed manifesto. Their manifesto was costed by themselves, but it wasn't ratified by a third party. Thank you very much. I'll just take that as it is. No need to add a further comment. It is what it is. When people like first meet you, first impressions, do they take you for a Liberal Democrat voter? No. I'm not going to lie to you. That doesn't surprise me. Let's talk about the NHS. Oh, the NHS. So, NHS. In, in one sentence, I'm going to give this question to both of you guys. What do you think the Conservatives are going to do to the NHS? Kill it. What do you think Labour is going to do to the NHS? Use money they do not have. I think right now is it's a di it's a dying horse, and they're just going to kick it till it's dead. They're just going to keep on f***ing kicking it. Fundamental basis of the NHS is care where needed to survive. It is not for, for example, I walked in to receive a prescription, and uh, there was a notice on the wall about how you can get elasticated leggings on the NHS and gluten-free meals. I need some elasticated leggings, how about you? Gluten-free meats and elasticated leggings. Well, let me tell you, the last time I went to the NHS, it was for a literal debilitating um, uh, disorder that I was born with. Didn't you get drunk once and punch a wall? I did do that, and you know what? I got free f cast for that because I broke my knuckle on a f fence. And I'll tell you what, waking- Hang on, hang on, hang on. Under, under, under your perfect conservative government, if Owen went and punched or got drunk and punched a wall and then needed medical attention, would you make him pay for it? No. What? Interesting. What annoys you the most about Labour voters? It comes down to a fundamental difference in opinion of government. L look, at, look at him, not me. It comes down to a fundamental difference in opinion on government. I personally view government as an economic force. I would suggest that you view government as a predominantly social force. I have no issue with you taking that opinion but I find it very short-sighted that you do not view the economic side of policies with as much importance as their social impact. What is the thing that annoys you the most about conservative voters? As someone who's autistic I can I can see where you're coming from with that logic of the fact that the economic needs to come before the individual um, but the matter the fact is that to me um, at the end of the day, what matters is the fact that people's lives are literally on the line. And so whether it's a single person or it's a whole group of people, um, it's a matter of the fact that these lives are literally depending on what, I, what box I put across in. You do a very good job of not, of pretending not to be drunk when you actually are. Oh, no, I am very based right now. If you could say one thing to a staunch conservative voter, what would you say? Why? And if you could say one thing to a Labour voter, what would you say? How? So how do you think the NHS, sorry, how do you think Conservatives are going to deal with mental health issues? Well, if you want to vote on mental health issues predominantly over everything else, you would vote Lib Dem. They have the strongest mental health manifesto. Yeah, we do. How, how are you drinking that? I, I'm still tasting this. How are you drinking? I don't understand. Do you want to try a splash? Yeah, sure. It tastes like liquid charcoal. You've got to, you've got to taste it. All right. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh! How are you drinking that straight? How are you drinking that straight? You know, guys, I can save you both a lot of time. Just meet in the middle and vote Liberal Democrat. <laughs> I prefer to stand for something, thank you. No. Oh, yes. the shame from the Conservatives. Stand for something than nothing. Well, if there's anything you guys can agree on, it's not voting Liberal Democrat. Yeah, Hope you enjoy the rest of your Obviously. Here. And thank thank you. you so much. Get that stuff as far away from me as you possibly can. I need to get myself one of those at some point. The local parties that you get them from will demand them back, so beware. You, you can't keep it. Come take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is the Labour supporter and the Conservative supporter that we had the debate with, happily discussing ideas literally about half an hour after we finished the debate. So we may not have a 
formed government, but we have formed friendships tonight. So as you can see, as what happens at the start of a day, it's got even brighter. It is now pretty much a new day. Obviously it's summer here in England, so we have a nice early sunrise just peeking over the tents there. If Josh would come down to my level and we can get a nice shot through the trees of the sunrise we are seeing on what seems to be a hung parliament. But we'll keep watching the results as they come in. There's a few results left to be called and we're gonna be here to the end. Hello, how are you? So for those that don't remember, this was one of our conservative voters from later who predicted that conservatives are gonna get 350 seats. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, I mean, obviously, it's not quite uh, gone to what we'd hoped. Not quite? Also, I'd like to point out, you seem to have a ribbon missing, which it was a blue ribbon, which might not have been conservative, just could have been a nice blue ribbon, but we made sure we wrote conservative on it. It's just gone half past five and the BBC have just called a hung parliament. This has been a historic election. There is no doubt about that. They said it about the EU referendum. They said it about the 2015, ref uh, the 2015 election, but this has been historic. It was a monumental failure for Theresa May to call this election to gain a bigger majority. Not only did she not gain a bigger majority, they actually lost enough seats not to have a majority at all. As you can see around me, people are starting to leave because that's it. We've had a hung parliament and no one really knows what happens now. If you take a look outside, a new dawn has broken on a very new United Kingdom that is perhaps more divided than ever. That's it from us here reporting on this election. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've laughed along with us. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Cut it Josh. Hey, just a quick thing from me at the end. That was a video I made in partnership with the TV station here at our university called Rhubarb TV and just want to give Credit where credit is due, I couldn't have made that video by myself, so it was great to be in partnership with them, and hopefully I'll create a whole load more videos with them in the upcoming year that I can share with you as well. Just wanted to say that, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.